Why hello everyone, this is Shadowlake907 here and welcome to another Black Ops 2 commentary. And today's, well, I read a comment in the last commentary that I did and someone suggested I do a com commentary about the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox, Xbox One and all about the next gen consoles. Well, I'll be talking about the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, not so much about the Wii U because that's already out, all the info's leaked on and everything. But the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One have yet to come out and we still have a lot of information coming out. And like, there's so many rumors floating around, Xbox, <laughs> I mean, no, not Xbox, Microsoft is trying to right all their wrongs that they did with the Xbox. Their first problem was with the freaking games, when they say, oh, you have to check this in online. And all this sort of stuff you had to rent, blah blah blah, you can't lend it to your friend, blah blah blah, no use games, blah blah blah, all this other junk. For, and for that, I was thinking, you know what, you might as well just take Steam, slap it onto the Xbox One, and call it the Microsoft Store, or whatever. And also, you might as well just call your store an online store, instead of actually selling discs, because that is basically what you're doing, you're buying... You're basically buying it, checking it in online so you could actually play it. It's basically an online store. So now they're writing all their wrongs, and you know what? I have some info for you guys. I have some opinions for you guys. So let's get right into it. Okay, so going back to what I was saying before about all the Microsoft and the internet thing and writing the wrongs. So as you all, as you all have probably heard, that was okay. I'm getting email. <laughs> as you all probably heard. It's not about my email or anything, but <laughs> my Microsoft, you know, they changed the whole online game policy. You know, it just works like a regular 360. You buy a disc, pop it in, sell it back to GameStop, give it to a friend, lend it to a friend, whatever you want to do with it. It's just pretty much your your disc, and you decide what to do with it now. But there's only one little, still one little thing they have with the internet and whatnot. You have to be, you have to have internet connection just for the. Um, systems mandatory day one update. I don't know what that means. It may. I don't know why. But apparently, may they install stuff on the internet onto the Xbox, or maybe um, just to register your Xbox. I don't know, but that's that's what this. That's what it says. I'm getting this information from 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 um I, from an IGN chart. Excuse me for stuttering at least a thousand times. And if you want to see what I'm looking at, I'll leave a link down in the description below. I'll even leave a little extra links about the upcoming games for the um, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and all that other good stuff. Alright, now before I get a little bit too far off track, let's get back into this again. Alright, so let's get into another thing to talk about. Let's talk about stats, why don't we? Alright, stats for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. I'm not going to get into them, but I'll tell you that the PlayStation 4 stats are a little bit better than the Xbox One. So not by like a whole landslide, but it is better. And if I get into it, you guys are not going to know what I'm talking about. DDR3 and DDR5 and all this other stuff. But the pl bottom line is PlayStation, PlayStation 4 does win in terms of stats. Now, another thing. Um, both consoles will be using USB 3.0, but... If you, for those of you guys who don't know, USB 3.0 and 2.0, those are um, backwards compatible, so that's really nothing to worry about, nothing to care about. Also, here's an interesting thing that you guys have probably all heard about. Um, both consoles will be able to live stream straight from your system, which is pretty awesome. And I believe, I know that the PlayStation 4, you're able to record, I believe you have a capture software that allows you to record for 10 minutes or... Something like that. It, I know there's a capture software built straight into your PlayStation 4. I know that for a fact. Uh, I'm not sure for the Xbox One. Somebody correct me that. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. If the Xbox One has it or not. I think it does. The, uh, I'm not sure. If you're, if you're able to live stream the Xbox One, you probably could record too. So I'm just gonna go for a straight out yes. But you guys could just <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong on that. But anyways. Yeah, let's get into some other things. All right, let's talk about backwards compatibility. It, can you take your PlayStation 3 disc or your Xbox 360 disc, pop it into the Xbox One or P PS4, and start playing it? No, you can't. I saw this one coming, guys. It was, it was just bound to happen. You couldn't do it. Um, I remember with the PlayStation 3, you could insert a PlayStation 1 disc and it would read, but a PlayStation 2 disc would not read. I always thought that was kind of weird how they did that, but apparently they were. That was able to happen. I don't know, but no backwards compa compatibility whatsoever with the new console. I saw it coming. Not really a big deal as long as you have your good old PS3 or whatever. You know what? 
think that's will be fun. Just keep the PS3, don't sell it out if you have a bunch of games on the PS3 because there's no backwards compatibility. I have warned you guys. Alright, and another thing, cross game chat. Alright, the deal with cross game chat is that both consoles will have cross game chat. Yes, the yes, Sony is finally putting cross game chat into their system. Thank you, Sony. I praise you for this. I've waited for this all my life. I've always wanted cross game chat for my system, and now I finally have it, and I am probably now the happiest person alive. Yes, I am getting, like, just get this straight out right now. I am getting a PlayStation 4, guys. And it's not because all oh, the stats are better, it's the most hardcore gaming system of the year or generation of consoles. No, it's not because of that. It's because I've had a PlayStation 1, I've had a PlayStation 2, I've had a PlayStation 3, and I, I don't have my PlayStation 1 with me, unfortunately, but I still have my PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. So, what, what would make sense in just get randomly getting an Xbox One? What is the sense in doing that if I've gotten th three PlayStation products and not a single Microsoft product except for Windows 7 or whatever? Why would I suddenly just get an Xbox One? No, it's tradition that I am going to get a PlayStation 4. I am going to stick with Sony. I love Sony. I love their controller. Whenever I pick up an Xbox controller, I don't have that feel for it because I've been playing with the PlayStation controller ever since, like, forever, pretty much. Speaking of controllers, so let me pull up two pictures right now. Alright, to the left you'll see the so PlayStation 4 controller, and to the right you'll see the Xbox One controller. Now, not really different, there's really enough, no difference here, except for the PlayStation 4 there is a touch, sc touch screen in the middle of your controller. I, I think that's pretty cool, I, I can't wait to see what game developers do with that. But the Xbox One controller pretty much looks the same, you know, same layout and everything. You know, just looks like it's been revamped and, um, I don't know, upgraded. But both controllers look pretty cool to me, so that's pretty awesome. Controllers, it's all about preference, with pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much all the facts and stuff I wanted to talk about with the next-gen consoles with you guys. So once you wrap all this epic disc console list, um, controlling this next generation ish stuff, you get a price, you know, to buy this stuff. So let me get straight down to it. The price for the PlayStation 4 when it comes out will be $400, and the price for the Xbox One when it comes out will be $500. Now the reason it's $500 more for the Xbox One is because you know you get the Connect 2 with it. So yeah, but they are thinking of coming out with a package later on, not on day one, but like in somewhere maybe summer of 2014, that will that will cost like possibly $300 without the connect and a small hard drive. But you know they may be playing around with that. That's just a rumor. Don't completely tell all your friends this now. But if anything, it's going to be way later on though. It's not day one thing. They, it's just a rumor flowing around. I think Microsoft announced it. I was watching a video on Machinima, and that is what I heard. So. Yeah, and it's pretty much that pretty much wraps up everything about these consoles now. Their price, their stats, their pretty much all the info on it. That's everything I need to talk about. So like I said guys, I'm a play I'm a PlayStation person, I'm getting a PlayStation 4. I'm not gonna randomly just buy a my Xbox product out of the blue and just unfamiliar my unfamiliar myself without uh, unfamiliarize myself with random words that I'm making up and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, so PlayStation 4 all the way for me. I'm not getting it day one though. It's probably gonna be way later on when I actually get the money because I just got my new PC built. It's gonna be some awesome times and I'll be making a video on that later on. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And if you're new around here and you wanna see more, please do subscribe. And if you have a suggestions for a commentary that you want that you want me to make, we'll leave a comment down below for that too. Shadowlink1907, signing out.